Okay. Here we go. Tides have turned. Now it's my turn to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jill Mason, by the way, former director of Channel 18. And uh, Paul volunteered for me for many, many years. And I've just found out recently that he's leaving the Cape to be closer with his family, which I think is terrific. Yes. But, Paul, let's take a look back. If, if between the two of us we can <laughs> remember that far back. Um, tell me, you know, the, the first time I remember Betty Pino was the one that really kind of reached out to you and said she thought this is something that you might enjoy doing, volunteering for Channel 18. Do you remember anything about those early days? I remember my first interview uh, was with... Uh, the director of the li new director of the library, and the new director of the golf course, and uh, they both came on, and uh, we had a good time. I remember bringing books t to the library interview. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that too. <laughs> and uh, that was the last time I brought anything, probably. <laughs> but uh, I remember that, and uh, uh, Tommy Holmes, that was his name. Was that the director of the... Tommy Hall. I don't no. remember the name. Oh, uh, he got himself know, Paul, into trouble anyhow. But. Yeah, I think most people that are watching the show now, I'm sure, don't remember that back in those days, we were still over at the high school in that tiny room, and we had a small round table that you and Betty and Marge used to sit at. <laughs> and, uh, Marge I, was great, and Betty was good, too. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of good memories with them. Yes. And I'm sure for you... A lot of times you were basically doing the, <laughs> because <laughs> trying to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> yeah. Now the other thing, Paul, you started on your own. You brought a lot to the show, which basically the show back then was, was a way for us to let the people in the community know what was happening in their own community. And you came up with a lot of good ideas. You started the Obviously, the Conservation Trust. Yes, um, one of them. That's your we just, your deal just said with about it. fifteen to sixteen years. Right, and <laughs> every year with the Mariners. Yeah, the Mariners. Yeah, and I was given a job as an umpire this last last time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! It's about time, Paul. It's about time. And you used to visit the uh, clinics, the Mariners' clinics. Every yes, day. I did. I, uh, my son, my grandson, was seven. When he's now 21, he's got a job as an accountant in Boston, and uh, he just graduated from college. So uh, that was good, and uh, not only, all the kids were fun. Yes. And we, that was a clinic, and uh, they were all hitting home runs and doing things, so <laughs> that, was, that was great fun. And uh, the baseball part uh, was, was a little more complex, but... That was also good. Uh, we spoke to the um, coach at that time, and he brought his assistant coach in. I, I can't remember the names. Yeah. And we talked to him about who they had recruited for the team, and uh, th that was always fun. Yeah. And so uh, uh, yeah, that, that was a good time. Yep. And the other one I remember you doing, bringing to the show every year, was when you and Ron and Bill Flynn used to run down to the A&W for, uh, <laughs> what was it called? The, you, the Cruise, car. Queen, Cruise Night or something? I, I forget now what it was called. Yeah. But it was, it was old used cars that we used to interview the owners, find out where they got them, uh, what the car was. Some of them had three or four different names, mm -hmm. you know. Every... The radiator would be one name, the seat would be another, you know, the <laughs> engine would be a third name. You, you didn't ever know what you were getting. But some of them were like that, and uh, others were uh, straight Fords, Chevys, or whatever you had. And uh, it, it, it was fun to do because I had a little interest in it, mm -hmm. you know, and Ron did as well. Uh, Ron was great to bring me down, and, and uh, at times, and then we went together at other times. But uh, we we talked to uh, people who had all kinds of cars. You know, they were. I don't know whether we. I think we even had a Mercedes. Uh -huh. one, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> I think they still do that. But that was a that was a great addition to the show. 
You you brought things that certainly Betty and Marge would never think about bringing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had different interests, true, probably. True, true. You know, so, and their interests were good, too. Yep, yep. Yeah. Looking back on all the years that you've been with us, which, you know, it has been quite an extraordinary commitment on your part and as well as a lot of our other volunteers who've been here yes. for years, <laughs> even before the community center was built. Um, what's your... One of your most fond memories of, of working here and working with the well, channel? Well, I think one thing I, I remember was the uh, outfit in Dennis where they had the, uh, the TV station. Mm -hmm. C3 TV. C3 well, TV. it used to be C3 TV. Yeah, that's right. Cape Cod and Community uh, Media Center, I believe. Yeah, and um, a girl was married to a fellow that I went to grammar school and high school with. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> wow. And uh, so uh, then when I found out that, that they were together and living in, they were living in Dennis, and uh, so I got together with him and we began, I guess it was quite a, a series for, for and quite a while. I can remember one time, we all got into two cars and went over to Dennis to a, to a big conclave of whatever they were doing. <laughs> and uh, that was big, and uh, it was fun. And uh, so uh, they had a station here in Howitch at the high school. That was our station. Yeah, that was our right. station, right. Yep. And uh, so they were going to ship stuff over here, and they, I think, I'm not sure of this, but I think we got to be part of it. Well, I think all the cable channels on the Cape the, are, are pretty closely knit. You know, we all share technology information mm -hmm. and, and help each other out. But it has, it has been a great ride. And once again, uh, you know, your efforts and volunteer and your commitment, and not only to show up every week, but you always showed up prepared. You were one of the few, actually, <laughs> I'll have to admit it, that brought notes with you and you, you did your homework when someone came and I said, gee, Paul, the people from the uh, Samson Fund are here, would you interview them? And you would take the time to find out what exactly is this organization? <laughs> what, what kinds of questions do I need to ask? So it was much appreciated and the community uh, at, at large really appreciates all your efforts. And uh, you're leaving the Cape. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about your plans going back I'm with going, family? Uh, I'm going up to, uh, uh, yeah, what is it? Oh, whoa. Watertown? No, Hunter? I'm not going to Watertown. It's uh, okay. hot, hot. Hingham? Hingham. 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 There you go. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> and uh, there are 1,300 other people in this building. I can't think of the name of the place okay. now to save my okay. life. <laughs> But uh, I've been accepted, and uh, I will be moving sometime in the third week in September. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll know this afternoon. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's <laughs> the fellow is coming to check what we have to move. Yeah. Well, so, that's uh, excellent. The next next step, next next big change in your life. But and then the is other exciting. another thing that, that we uh, we had uh, that came about. Uh, with the, uh, oh, I had it in my mind and now it's Another disappeared. Another one of your series are you thinking about? Yeah, what was it? That, uh, with with Carla? Are you talking about that one oh, at the library? Well, yeah, Carla, Carla was big, yeah. Yep. She, she had a lot of things to say. Yep. And uh, I just had a course with her in the computer. Good. So I still have stayed in touch with her. Good. And uh, she gets me a lot of books. Excellent. And uh, she's been very, very good to yeah. me. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I appreciate all that she's done. Yeah. We and have great resources in this town. You do. And, and you have people who know how to use them. Yes. And want other people to share that same experience. Yes, absolutely. And that's very good. And it, it makes it easy for you to do that and easy to call on these people. Yes. You know. And yeah. uh, the other thing, oh, was the uh, trains. Oh, yes. The Model Trains, the model Cape train Cod yeah. Railroad or Model Train Association. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I used to love going over there to it's Orleans right. and yes. seeing their Christmas and 
set up. Five train sets that they had yep. all set up. Yep. And uh, Jamie even enjoyed that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she well, I'm went sure, over with us. Uh, I'm sure, through. Paul, you have a lot of good memories, as I do. Um, looking back all those years, it's hard to believe that they've gone by so quickly. It is. Um, but anyway... I just wanted to come in and thank you in person for all you've done and certainly wish you the very best, as does, I think, most of the community wish you the very best, Paul. So upward and onward. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for all you've done. Thank you, Jim. And thank you. And yourself. <laughs> and Jamie as well.